have this plate and could sell. I rule. You, you guys do not appreciate me enough. So, <clears throat> after doing the videos, after videos, all these years, warning that this day was coming, warning about the church, exposing that they paid for it, <laughs> exposing <laughs> that they <laughs> knew it was coming, when it was coming, and uh, exposing that they weren't making a statement, as everyone else has already done it. <laughs> as they <clears throat> refuse to speak out and condemn a certain person who started this. The spokesman for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is claiming to give an official statement without signatures. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> it's not even in their lingo for a first presidency statement. They came out today, fairly recently, because I checked earlier, a first presidency statement on the armed conflict. Now pay attention to what is missing. I told you, I told you, I told you. Church leaders plead that peace will prevail. I thought God was supposed to prevail. <laughs> <laughs> among nations and within our own hearts you sons of bitches the first presidency of the church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints the great and abominable church has issued the following statement we are heartbroken and deeply concerned by the armed conflict now raging Yes, this is after news that Ukraine has held Kiev. They held Russia back. And they come out with this. <laughs> they ruined a, a, a Ukrainian. Sacrificed his life to save Ukraine by blowing up a bridge that he got blown up with it to prevent the Russians from coming over the bridge. The guy is now a hero. And just listen to the spokesperson writing this on behalf of the prophets. This wasn't them. They got a spokesperson to do this. And he's signing it with the church's name. That's why this is so infuriating to me and why I can mock it so easily. <clears throat> the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has members on both sides in each of the affected areas. Each? Each? You mean the now occupied Ukraine and Ukraine. Those each? Those are the only affected areas and throughout the world. Our minds and hearts have been turned toward them. No. <laughs> no. Church has been silent. Church has paid for this. This is why they did it. Me, guys. They did this because of me. They had someone do a statement and sign their... They didn't even sign their names. You do not understand. The church destroyed me because I figured this out. And I do not get the attention that I deserve that needs to be paid to this. The church 
are the great and abominable church. Do you not understand what that means? That means they paid for this war to cause suffering, to cause the overthrow of all governments all over the world. And here they are responding to me. And they can't even do it right. And so listen, we continually pray for peace. Yeah, Putin wants peace. He is on a peacekeeping mission. We know that enduring peace, oh here it comes, can be found through Jesus Christ. Yes, tell that to Putin. <laughs> the Pope did. The Pope did. They won't. The Pope did. He can calm and comfort our souls. I want to yell profanities right now. In the midst of terrible conflicts. I want them here so I can beat the hell out of them. What the bleepity bleep is that? People have lost their lives, they have lost their homes, they have lost their families, loved ones, they have been separated, destroyed, financially ruined. And he's saying, Jesus Christ can give you calm and comfort. Condemn Putin, and they won't do it. This is evil. He taught us to love God and our neighbors. Oh, they're supposed to love Putin. Just submit. Oh, well, here you go, Putin. Take our country. We want peace. We pray that the armed conflict will end quickly. Did I not tell you? Ukraine stood their ground today. And they're saying, bleep Ukraine, stand aside and let Putin take over. <sighs> that the controversies will end peacefully. Tell Putin, don't be going after Ukraine, they're defending themselves. Nobody in the world is stepping in to help them. Oh, we're sanctioning. They are giving their lives for their country. And the church says, oh, there's good on both sides. Sound familiar? Charlottesville? And that peace will prevail again. Going back to the mistranslation of Isaiah or Israel. Isaiah 2. That's Matthew's though. <laughs> we'll prevail among nations and within our own hearts. God. Their hearts are so evil. We plead with world leaders. Did you catch that? We plead with world leaders to seek for such resolutions and peace. Putin is the cause. He's the only problem. And look, they blame NATO and the United States of America. God, they piss me off. Anybody supporting the church is an enemy of this nation. It's that simple. You are a traitor. You are a terrorist. It's that simple. 
you can't even be a fence sitter anymore. If you're a fence sitter, you're siding with the church.